Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee. Welcome to the Man Cave. I have here with me today Democratic candidate for State Senate District 1, at least at this point. Mark Lemke is here with us today. And, uh, Mark, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me, Jeff. It's I a pleasure to it. have you here with us yeah. today. Uh, I wanted to start out and just kind of introduce yourself to people and, and then we can get into a little bit of why you decided to uh, jump into this race for state senate. Okay, well, I'm name's Mark Lemke and I'm running for state senate. I grew up in uh, Armstrong, Iowa, not too far away. Yeah. And um, for job concerns, I ended up in Des Moines, Iowa since from 1982 until we moved back here in 2016. Okay. So, why so what did you do in Des Moines then? I worked for RCA and which eventually became General Electric uh, Service. Yep. Um, became a Northwest Territory Training Manager for GE Consumer Service. Sure. And then in 99, I decided to start my own business. I, good and bad things about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway um, so, in 2013, we, we purchased a home over here in Monarch Cove by the Methodist camp. Yeah. And uh, when I was able to retire, this is where we decided to live. Well, you picked a good spot. I yeah. have to commend you on your choice. of. <laughs> and Mark, here about a, a month ago, a little over a month ago, uh, State Senator Zach Whiting decided he was retiring, uh, stepping down from the State Senate. Right. And, and then the office was opened up and we had uh, Republicans running. And, and then you got your name in there. What inspired you uh, to run for the seat in the state senate? Well, I, I had many friends and neighbors urging me to do this. Yeah, right. And uh, my wife started uh, visiting with uh, Senator Jackie Smith on Facebook, and they were everybody's like, "Why, why don't we have anybody running?" Right. And you know, after January sixth and some of the political climate that was going on, I thought I'd, I'd sit and think, "What can I do?" Well, when this came up, I thought. I can either sit in my chair and complain or try to do something and try to get along with people again. Right. And that's kind of why I decided to run and uh, got it, jumped in the game late, but... <laughs> well, it, it's hard to say it's late when you only got about a month, month and a half to run a campaign, <laughs> yeah. Mark. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> when late is maybe a week later, that's right. not too late. And, but, but it is, yeah. it's, you know, it's a condensed uh, campaign. campaign. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. I told, I told well, somebody that I uh, decided on the 14th, I was nominated on the 17th, and I was down in Des Moines filing my papers on the 19th, and then we had Thanksgiving the next week. So. <laughs> a little bit like, like getting married in Vegas. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wake up and went, whoops. <laughs> but now you're in the fray, and, I, and I'm sure yeah. you're glad that you did it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah. You and have things that you, you think are important. And, yes. uh, yeah. Maybe we can talk about... Um, from your background, I mean, you know, we all have different backgrounds and, and what we think, you know, if I was in, invested in government, here's things that I would try to bring forward. Yeah. And if you would be elected next Tuesday, you get committee assignments, are, are, you, are you looking at different areas where you'd like to make a difference, Mark? Yeah, and I've, I've done some research on that, and uh, the, generally I get the senators are limited to uh, like two committees and four subcommittees. And I, I mean, my big interest would probably be labor and business relations since I ran a business for sure. almost 20 years. Um, I would like the agriculture committee because that's who we are in Northwest <laughs> <laughs> Iowa. I mean, um, excuse well, me, I, I write things down. Well, that's my, fine, but you, you're right. That, no I matter how <laughs> urbanized <laughs> yeah, we, we get, yeah. unless people living on, the, we are still an agriculture right. state, number one, absolutely. Right, right. And natural resources and environment would be of interest to me. and. Uh, I had many constituents that I visited, especially in the corner of the state in Lyon County, that are very concerned about uh, water and erosion mm -hmm. and, and uh, pollution and farm chemicals and such, and trying to urge farmers to practice conservative, right? You know, conservation. Right, and look at our own backyard here with our beautiful blue water lakes. Yes, you know, got trying to, to keep those that. pristine yeah. and hand it down to the next generation right. and, and they do the right. same. So, yeah. absolutely yeah. water quality, absolutely. So that's that's some of the things I would be interested in. Um, s transportation, um, I helped oversee our associations um, over in Monarch Cove, their road project. And sorry to say I'm the point man on the sewer committee. <laughs> 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 and 
I was elected a, a ward rep almost immediately when I moved. Yeah, that, <laughs> you know? That's what happens when you show up meetings <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, and then I got to admit, I haven't had a lot of political experience, and, but I'm willing to learn, and I had to learn fast when I got onto the board. Well, sure. <laughs> but, you know, that's the beauty yeah. of uh, a citizen legislature. Yes. You know, uh, yeah. everybody, all of them, senators, yeah. legislators, were something before. Right. Right. Whether, whether they swung a hammer or uh, swung a gavel or whatever it was they did. Yes. Uh, and that's what you bring, the experience you bring into Des Moines and, and, and your priorities and, and your disciplines is kind of what you try to move forward. Right. So right. Uh, everybody's <laughs> experience counts for something. That's for yeah. sure, Mark. Yeah, life experience. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, indeed. And we all got it. So, uh, and the district will change here a little bit. Right. Uh, well, first of the year, we go from District 1 to District 5. So the playing field is, is going to change. Um, as you look forward, how would you do your, your best to stay in touch with constituents uh, as, as moving forward here, Mark? Yeah. Um, first of all, I, I'm serving out, I would be serving out Zach Whiting's term. Right. So I would still be representing the, the district that we have now. Yeah. Um, but when the re-election comes up, then things will change. Yeah. But um, I, I don't know, I, I jump in my Subaru <laughs> and I go visit people <laughs> <laughs> and knock on doors. You do it the old-fashioned way. old-fashioned way. And I had a young lady help me with the Facebook page. Oh, sure. And so far we've had over 3,000 hits on that. Wonderful. Um, so that, yeah, there's a different ways nowadays, but I, I like to go talk to people. Yeah. I mean, it just because just because this is something I want to do or my agenda put forward, it's not really what it's about. Right. It's about representing what somebody over in Lyon County wants or somebody over in Osceola yep. or Clay. Um, so I like. I've had all kinds of things thrown at me the last two weeks. <laughs> it's, it is a learning experience, yeah. isn't it? Yes. But that's just yeah. it. That's connecting with people, talking yeah. with people, hand to hand, let me introduce myself and, and, right. and hearing their concerns and questions. Yeah. That's, how, that's how you learn what the issues are, right. as opposed to maybe colleagues say, well, these yeah. are the issues. Talk to the people that have issues. Right. And so, stuff you read in the paper. I mean, yeah. Yeah, some, some of that stuff wasn't even mentioned by people, right. you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, very, very true. Uh, well, and as we know, the, the budget is uh, the big part yeah. uh, of, of every uh, you know, legislative session that goes in. And it's always, you know, getting the budget, going through the process, going, uh, you know, what's going to get weeded in, what's going to get weeded out. Are there areas of the budget that you think uh, maybe areas that should have priorities and maybe the areas that, uh, you know, this has just not been given enough emphasis over the years. Here's maybe something that could be brought, brought to the forefront when you look at doing the budget for the first time. Yeah, uh, for what I got from my constituents, I mean, I, I, I learned things I didn't even know because you know, unless it affects you, you, you don't. Yeah. Um, I think we need to stand strong on the chip program for kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really helped change some some lives for regular working people, yeah. and uh, and many many things in the environment. I mean, that's who we're handing this thing to is our, yeah. <laughs> our kids and grandkids. So that that was a big concern, and uh, so I think we need to keep funding programs for that right. and and the health care. Um, I have a lot of older people that see the Social Security thing on the uh, TV, mm -hmm. and especially with these budget resolutions and deadlines, and they're talking about, well, you might not get your Social Security check right. on time. I mean, it scares people oh. bad. And, uh, especially when you start to get a, a little bit of this uh, yeah, it scares me. silver <laughs> stuff. I, I don't call it gray. I call it silver in my side yeah. Years, but uh, yeah, and I, yeah, and I don't know what it can do from the state level to... but. To try to just yeah. be a you know complainer and say we got to make Social Security secure. Yeah, I mean, and they can do it. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. So a couple different areas that uh, you'd like to make but, some emphasis on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Isn't isn't funny where life takes us sometimes? You know, would, would yeah. What earlier this year, if somebody said you're going to be a candidate for state senate, you'd have probably said. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you're having. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Here you are, candidate, Democratic yeah. and say, uh, candidate for state senate. So, well, it might, uh, it might cut into my bad golfing. So that's a good. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it kind of changes your perspective on right. on some things. Right. And, and I've always I've always been involved or interested in history, yeah. politics, and and sociology and commerce. And uh, oh, I, you've probably read some of my letters to the Lake News Shopper. And sure. uh, and I thought, well, I can sit in my basement and write letters, or I can try to be a voice. Yeah. So that's here I am. And here you are, <laughs> offering your voice, and so for. Uh, next Tuesday. Anything you'd like to add in here, Mark, uh, to uh, possible constituents uh, before we go into voting next Tuesday? And I realize yeah. a lot of people have voted already, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, yeah, and I, I think it's important that it, there was money for, for some of these small governments and cities. It's been already been appropriated. Yeah. And uh, some of them, from what I've been reading and people telling me, they haven't seen it, but it, it's there. Yeah. And it, the governor's talking about uh, tax refunds instead of uh, <laughs> getting the money where it belongs and I think that's important yeah, um, yeah there's there's so many things um, people have been telling me but uh, that that'd be one thing I'd work on is trying to get the money where it goes where it's supposed to go right. and uh, I think I like the bipartisan infrastructure bill I know Dave, my opponent, said in one of his first press releases that uh, he was going to do anything he could to fight Biden's outdated agenda. But I'm thinking, what's outdated about new bridges and roads? I mean, what's who doesn't want better broadband internet around here? Exactly. And, sure. You know, and child care credit. Um, the lady told me in uh, from George, Iowa, that that has made a real difference in some lives out there. Oh, I'm sure. So I, I think that's very important yeah. that we, we keep that up. So but that's what I want to do is advocate for the people. Well, you know? sure. Absolutely. So, yeah. It sounds like you're offering to be a, a hands-on, uh, yeah. available <laughs> uh, representative. And I always like the term public servant as opposed to politician. Right. Uh, right. To serve the people, and so that's that's what I some of the campaigning and stuff I, I don't really care for. But I mean, let's get to work. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's get this out. I, I'll sit at our board meetings and I'll hear all these people with ideas. Like yep. we, we had a washout in the road, and everybody says, "Well, who should we get? Where should we get estimates?" And I, I sat and listened, and then after that, I went down to Baumgars and bought two big bags of River Rock and two big bags of sand, <laughs> and I packed them in the hole, and it's been fine ever since. So, <laughs> We can sit around and complain about it, <laughs> or do something, or do about, something it. about it, yeah. and that'd yeah. be your your the way that you yeah. work in the the state senate. Yeah, All right. I was joking with Jack Kirby down in Emsburg last weekend. I, I said, "Man, this is this is a real easy job, isn't it, Jack?" And we both started laughing. <laughs> And he would go. Yes. <laughs> many, yeah. many years he's, sitting there. His deal is, he told me, he says, I plan to get in there for two years and then get out. And so, was it 48 years yeah, later? Yeah, I was going to say, I'll, I'll have plan work I, out. I don't think I'll have 48 years. So, be careful what you wait for. That's, <laughs> that's for right. sure. Yeah. All right. Well, Mark, I appreciate you coming in here and, yeah. and talking and sharing some of your views moving into next Tuesday. And, and best of luck to you. Yeah, uh, I appreciate next, you having me. Next Tuesday for the election. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thank you. Our guest today, Mark Lemke, Democratic candidate for State Senate District 1 here uh, with us today on uh, Okaboji Broadcast. We thank Mark for being here with us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz, Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake, Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. V Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 